I'm Joe and welcome to Phone House Online. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is the premium upgrade to Samsung's flagship series of handsets and you can even drop it in a bowl of water and it will just keep on going. The A5 on the other hand is its better looking mid-range younger sibling. It's great for photographs, stylish, design led and it loves a night out. But there's not quite as much going on behind this pretty exterior. So why don't we compare the two? So let's look at the Galaxy S5 versus the A5 in more detail. Now this is kind of hard because the two phones serve different purposes and do different things. But if we kick off with design, then the S5 is a premium phone that's all about being robust. And as a result, it doesn't look too expensive. It has a perforated back cover, which means you get a better grip on it. It's sand, dust, water, sweat resistant, all sorts. It basically means that since you are investing in an expensive phone, it's less likely to break, which can only be a good thing. On the other side, the Galaxy A5 is a beautiful looking phone. It has a full metal unibody, which basically means it looks sleek and it looks cool. And it actually features in the brand new Avengers movie, which is coming out soon. If it's good enough for superheroes, it's good enough for us. Moving on to display, and both phones have a super AMOLED touchscreen, um, and there's not too much difference in screen size either. The A5's got a five inch screen with 5.1 inches on the S5. Now, in terms of resolution, you do get a big difference, but that's exactly what you'd expect. The more expensive S5 is 1080 by 1920 with 432 PPI density, whereas you get 720 by 1280 on the A5 with 294 PPI density. And both phones come with Gorilla Glass to make them a little bit more scratch proof. Moving on to operating systems, the S5 runs 442 KitKat, which is upgradable to version five of Lollipop, while the A5 runs version 444 of KitKat. Now, what this means is you're gonna get a much smoother experience, generally speaking, on the S5. This is also compounded by the fact that it has a quad core 2.5 gigahertz processor compared to the 1.2 gigahertz processor you get on the A5. So obviously there's a big difference in performance there. In terms of memory, now both are upgradable using a micro SD and both come with 16 gigabytes originally, although the S5 does have a 32 gigabyte model which is upgradable to 128 gigabytes with the micro SD, whereas the A5 you can only upgrade to 64 gigabytes. That being said, that's still pretty good. And both phones have two gigabytes of RAM. Moving on to cameras, and here there's not too much difference. One of the big selling points of the A5 is its 13 megapixel camera with lots of different features. It also has a five megapixel secondary camera. Now the S5 has a 16 megapixel main camera, but only a two megapixel secondary camera. Now this seriously lags behind some of the competition and is really one of the phone's only real weaknesses. In terms of video, on the A5 you can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second, but there's a lot more options in terms of frames per second and resolution when it comes to the S5. Now what this means is you'll be able to upload to a number of different devices depending where you're watching, but it goes all the way up to 2160p at 30 frames per second, which is some really, really high quality video indeed and you also have the capability to do dual video calling. Moving on to the battery life and the A5 has a lithium ion 2300 mAh battery whereas you get the same but 2800 mAh in the S5. Now talk time on the A5 is 15 hours while music play is about 68 hours. Now music play on the S5, you're looking at about 67 hours, but you get about six hours more talk time with 21 hours in total. So overall, the Galaxy S5 is a better phone from a software and a hardware perspective. 
You'd expect that given the high price point. It's also extremely robust. But the A5 is a mid-range phone and therefore quite a lot cheaper. And it looks great and feels great in your hand. It's also gonna let you nail that all important selfie and then look at it back on a fantastic screen. So I suppose it really depends what you want. If you want an absolutely top end handset with all that that entails that can also stand up to a bit of rough and tumble, then get yourself an S5. If however, you want a sleek, cool, design led smartphone that does everything you're going to need, then get yourself an A5.